I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Thursday, February 13th, 2025. There was a, a pair of earthquakes there. Actually, there's been three along the Hayward Fault, which everyone that lives there in the Bay Area should know is overdue for a very large earthquake. As you know, any earthquake has a 10% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. Earthquake faults often follow along rivers and streams, and you can see we got um, some kind of waterway going through here. That was the magnitude 3.4. And then closer to the stadium, there was a magnitude 3.2. 1,389 people have reported to USGS that they felt this earthquake for the magnitude 3.4. It occurred, the first one, at 11.32 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. USGS gave it an intensity level of 4. So what kind of damage do you have? Did things get knocked off the walls or the shelves? Intensity level 4, which means it felt like a 3, maybe to a 3.5. Felt indoors by many, outdoors by a few. At night, some may have been woken up. Dishes, windows, and doors rattled. Um, automobiles rocked noticeably. On the moment tensor ball, it shows that the fault line moved going east slightly and then very slightly going to the north. Here we have the felt reports. Looks like the farthest was Ione, intensity level 4. Yeah, that's strong for way over there, which was uh, 114 kilometers. So that is 70.8 miles. Yeah, that, that is intense. Uh, let's zoom into this location. The furthest to the uh, south, I got no name down there. Nothing listed. Um, Hayward, 90 reports, intensity level 4. Also from Hayward, 285 reports, intensity level 4. And I believe uh, somewhere on the coast, maybe Daly City. Um, yeah, intensity level 2. Uh, one report from there. Now for the magnitude 3.2 that occurred just two minutes later, we got 261 reports. Um, they have upgraded that one. From an intensity level 3 to an intensity level 4. This moment tensor ball shows that the fault line moved going west a little bit. As I've stated, any earthquake has a 10% chance of being a foreshock for a larger earthquake. This all started with a magnitude 2.7. It was also given an intensity level of 4, 3.3 uh, miles in depth. The 3.4 was 4 miles in depth, and then the 3.2 was 3.8 miles in depth. Let me well, try and zoom in here a little bit. So I would like to know if you felt any of these three earthquakes. How long did it last? What was the motion like? Do you have damage? How did your pets react prior to this earthquake? Um, I know you're getting a lot of rain. And that rainwater is percolating down into the faults, uh, yeah, and lubricating them. So that could be what's going on here. And it's, yeah, the San Andreas um, is way overdue for a large earthquake. Are you prepared or do you depend on mommy or daddy government to come to your rescue? I've talked about how emergency services, uh, it could be a very long time before they even come to your aid. People need to be prepared on their own. If there is a large earthquake, sometimes text messaging will still work. But everyone should have an out-of-state contact to be like an, an operator that all your family members or loved ones could contact to find out how you are doing and have a pre-arranged plan to where you would meet. Do you have those two things done? Another good thing is to have a whistle 
So if you don't have the ability to shout for help if you're trapped somewhere, you could at least blow a whistle and that would be heard over a larger area. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Always be prepared for any type of disaster. Please stay safe. Please be prepared. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.